What is up ladies and gentlemen, many here, welcome back to the channel. Are you new to rock climbing and a little confused by all the different terms which climbers use to describe beta, terrain or gear? This little mini series about rock climbing terminology could help you out. In today's episode we're going to start with all the different ways in which your feet or rather your climbing shoes can come into contact with the wall. Let's start with the basics, edging. Now that's really as simple as it gets, edging is when you use the edge of your climbing shoe sole for stepping on a foothold, pretty straightforward. Now depending on the exact part of the edge we can distinguish further toe tip edging when you just use the very tip of the shoe, um, inside edging when the inside of the shoe is used that is closer to your thumb toe and outside edging when the part closer to your pinky toe is used. Next up we've got smearing. Contrary to edging, a bigger surface area of a climbing shoe sole comes into contact with the wall in case of smearing. This is necessary when you want a lot of friction between your shoe and the wall, particularly on slabby terrain. Kind of the opposite of smearing is something that I always call grabbing. Sorry if there exists another special term for this in English. This applies to bigger footholds with a prominent gap, where it is possible to literally nestle your toes in, in order to really pull on that foothold to get the maximum out of it. This occurs more often in overhanging terrain. Next up we've got the foot switch. Sometimes it is necessary to switch feet on a foothold, pretty self-explanatory. Um, we can distinguish four different ways how this is done though. And I gotta be honest here, I just invented some uh, names here, correct me if I'm wrong down below. Um, if the foothold is very big, there might be enough space for something that I call a match switch. On smaller footholds you have the option between the foot on foot switch, the jump switch and the smear switch. Next up we've got everyone's favorite hooks. We can distinguish two kinds of hooks depending on what part of the climbing shoe is used to come into contact with the wall. First off, we've got heel hooks, here we use the heel. Secondly, we've got toe hooks, here we use the upper layer of the toe box or rather the instep of the shoe for hooking onto a certain feature. There's also situations where you can use both at the same time on the same foot, um, sort of locking your foot in between two features. Again, I'm making something up here, let's call it a heel toe hook for now. Let me know down below if there's some specific term for this. Other situations will allow you to squeeze a certain feature in between a toe hook and normal stepping. This is called a bicycle and it can work by squeezing in or outwards depending on the situation. And finally we have the foot jam. This rather exotic one is often used in crack climbing. Sometimes you gotta push your toes or even your whole foot into that crack in order to get something out of it and that's the foot jam. So that's basically it for this episode, I hope you're now able to articulate your beta a bit better than before and if I forgot something or called something the wrong way, forgive me and let us know down below to correct it right away. I plan to do more of these terminology episodes in the future, so if you're interested stick around and until then, have a good training, stay strong and I'll see you soon in the next one, bye!